Taking a look now at coronavirus, there's more than 16.5 million cases of coronavirus in the U.S. right now, and the death toll has now crossed the 300,000 mark. Now, the Pfizer vaccine started to be distributed yesterday, and now, of course, we're also getting this great news that Moderna is also expected to receive approval from the FDA. So this news could not come at a better or more critical time. So I want to start today's show there. We're joined now by Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kemlani for more details on this pandemic. Hey, Anjali. Hey, Kristen. Yeah, so of course, great news. And as you mentioned, largely expected that uh, Moderna's vaccine will get uh, the emergency use authorization. And that's based on the fact, uh, on several facts, actually. First, that we already know that it's a highly effective vaccine based on the clinical trials. Uh, Pfizer, which uses a similar platform, and did get authorization last week. And the results between the two are, are pretty comparable. Uh, the, the key difference is that Moderna is seeking authorization for the 18 plus range of adults, while Pfizer last week had asked for 16 and older. And that is because it had done the study um, in its clinical trials based based on that age range. So that's one of the key differences. They do also have similar uh, symptoms and, and side effects um, as we know it, uh, including you know pain at the site of injection, fatigue, uh, and headaches. So that's something to look out for that should be discussed. Uh, one of the other things uh, that sh should be discussed coming up on this Thursday meeting um, is whether or not, uh, similar to what happened with the Pfizer vaccine, whether or not there's gonna be discussion around pregnant women or uh, any allergies or uh, allergic concerns, uh, unlike what happened with Pfizer's vaccine, where the UK had al already authorized it. Uh, this is a first shot for Moderna. So a lot of new stuff is likely to come out. Um, but as you mentioned, uh, largely expected to go through. The timeline is still uncertain. Uh, if you recall last week, Pfizer's went through pretty quickly uh, after the authorization coming late Friday, even though we had or we had been told at the time that it could take days to a week uh, for the authorization to come through. So likely we will see a similar timeline unfold. Um, the first doses for Pfizer were shipped out early Sunday morning, uh, and we could see a similar timeline then. Uh, one other difference on the shipments, and this is something to keep an eye out for, is that Pfizer uh, went directly to FedEx and UPS in order to get their shipments out. Uh, Moderna is working through distributor McKesson and then through the carriers after that. That. So not sure how that's going to affect the timeline, but all told, uh, really good news. In addition, today, the FDA uh, did approve a new test. And this is also pretty exciting uh, when it comes to COVID-19 testing. We know for a long time, a lot of health experts have been sort of uh, beating the drum on at-home testing or rapid antigen testing. And right now, those two are exactly what uh, comes to fruition in the FDA's authorization. Uh, and uh, a rapid antigen test at home over the counter counter availability. And so that is something that, uh, you know, we, we don't know exactly when it'll be available, uh, but it is pushing the needle forward on more available testing. Kristen. All right. Thanks so much. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kimlani, of course, with all of those updates every day about this pandemic. Thanks to you for all of that information.